I'm Lisa, Girl Camper Guide in the Black Hills. Today I'm going to show you how to hang peel and stick wallpaper in your camper. We're working on an R-Pod 179. First thing you want to do is you want to prep your walls. So you want to get them really clean. What we like to use is Simple Greens Industrial Cleaner and Degreaser. Wipe that on your walls, rinse it off with water, and repeat. Do it as many times as it takes till your water is rinsing off nice and clear. Once you've got them nice and clean, the next thing we did is we used Zeisner's Universal Wallpaper Primer. You want to make sure that your surface is prepped as good as it can to hold that wallpaper on, even if it is just peel and stick. So our wall is primed, but it's not quite ready. We need to make sure that all these surfaces here are nice and smooth, especially when we're using peel and stick wallpaper because the only way that that adhesive is gonna stay is if it's on a smooth surface. So I need to do some sanding here, and then I'm gonna fill in this gap with some of this patch mix. So the patch in, it's pretty simple. Take a little bit, get it on my scraper, and I'm just gonna work it in right into where that gap is. I'm trying to fill that hole. I don't want to scrape it down so that it's nice and smooth. I'm going to do that along the whole edge there. This area that I'm filling in is where a piece of trim originally was, which we removed in order to install the peel and stick wallpaper. One thing you want to really watch out for when you remove a piece of trim like this is there's little tiny finishing nails here. I don't know if you can see that. It's really tiny, but I need to get that out before I put the wallpaper over it. Otherwise that nail is going to poke right through that wallpaper. So you want to either try to pull those out because all that was was holding that trim in. It's not really holding this down. Or you want to try to cut that off so that it's flush with the surface. All right, so my wall patch has dried. I've sanded it and I applied another coat of the primer over the top of that to make sure that we have good adhesions. I measured uh, how long my panels from my wallpaper need to be. And then I added about another six inches to it. So that gives me some good room to play with uh, when we're gonna start hanging it. And then I cut out the, the matching panels to it. When you're cutting out your second and third panels, uh, depending on how many panels that you need, and you've got a pattern, you've got to make sure that you match the pattern up. So you're going to lay out your first panel and then roll the wallpaper out next to it, matching the panel up, and then cut accordingly so that you have equal lengths of the panel. And then also at the top of each panel, I wrote top one, top two, and top three so that I know which panel goes in first, second, and third. One of the things that I did is I measured out the width of my wallpaper and I drew a line straight down it. So that's going to help me make sure that I get this wallpaper hung straight. Now, when I start this, I'm going to put the paper flush with this, this edge over here, but I'm going to run it up over a little bit over this trim piece here. I'm not going to try to make it flush in here. I'm going to trim that off when we're all done so that it's nice, nice and tight. And the other secret to putting this wallpaper on is a lot of them will recommend that you use like a squeegee to flatten this out. What I like to use is a good old fashioned uh, eraser, uh, like a blackboard eraser, dry eraser. The reason being is it doesn't cause friction or heat and therefore doesn't stretch your paper or potentially tear it. So I like to use this. And the motion that you wanna use is you always wanna start in the center and work your way out back and forth or up and down. You do not wanna go in circles. That's gonna cause all kinds of problems. So back and forth very methodically in one, you know, in either up and down or left to right. And you also wanna get a friend to help you do this. So I'm gonna get my husband and he's gonna help me hang this. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna be responsible for on the back of the paper is helping to peel off the backing 
and holding that down so that it doesn't spring back up and get into the way of the paper as I'm smoothing it down. So we're going to go ahead and get this first panel hung. Keep going. I'm trying to hold it away. 
here until you squish it down. Oh, I see. Go for it. Yeah. Take your handy dandy little knife and cut that careful, careful, careful. Yep. Always hold That one doesn't matter too much. Alright, ready for piece number two? Ooh. Well, if we can, I think that's probably the best pattern. The best pattern match. Don't you? 